I know. More so, the devil made me do it. Scott is not sitting up here trying to blame somebody else for the audience not liking him this season. No, he didn't say that. No, he did not just do that right now. Look, Marcel, ain't no devil made you do what you did. That was all you. Instead of choosing peace, you decide to choose a violence. You hit that violence button. We all get choices in life. We all get to make our decisions. And you just decide to choose violence. The devil didn't make you do anything. Because you also can be peaceful, joyous, and calm, and be nice to people as well. We got options. You got options. So don't you dare try to say the devil made you do it. You, you uh uh-uh. You is not. I'm going to hold you accountable. I'm going to hold your feet to the fire. Do not give me the devil made me do it vibes, okay? You wanted to do what you did, whatever you were about to do on season four. So that's good to know that, you know, this season, it sounds like we're going to get like a more authentic feel guys like marcel himself said he feel like this is going to be one of the better seasons because now people aren't afraid to like really show themselves and put it out there you know it is what it is so i'm interested and excited and looking forward to this new season especially with marcel co-signing because you know marcel give me too cool for school vibes that's one thing i like about marcel like he's okay with being the bad guy you know he's one of those accept me flaws and all remember back in the day beyonce song he it's just like that like okay you may not like me that's okay if you don't want me then don't talk to me you know it's it's all right go ahead and free yourself but this is me and i like that about marcel um he don't never really seem flat like um what's the word he doesn't really seem um flustered or you never really see him discombobulated he's almost like this uh the version of like the male version of phaedra in a way you ever notice that like for people that watch real housewife of Atlanta, when phaedra was on there she was like always put together i never seen her break a sweat even when the whole candy and the dungeon stuff came out and it was revealed that it was her that said what she said she still like had a smile on her face that is so creepy but nevertheless i don't know guys but anyway really i did want to talk to you guys because you know i was on my site urban bell mag you know i like that site and it really be breaking stuff down for me and letting us know what's going on with love and marriage huntsville but i also ran in an article i was just like "Uh uh-uh martel needs to stop trying to throw salt in other people's game you know i understand People don't like to be called out for stuff that they feel like someone else is doing as well. So he feel like, okay, y'all want to call me out my infidelity. But, y'all, you know, you, you, Marcel, Maurice, Lewis, y'all cheating too. So don't be trying to call me out. I get that. I cannot confirm or deny if it's true. It seems like it's not true because nothing really has come. Nothing concrete has came out yet. And poor Lewis, I ain't never hear. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But I didn't hear that Lewis was in any cheating scandal on the show. Did I miss something on social media that came out? Because I'm like, Martel pulling poor Lewis Whitlow in his mess? No. The way that Tiffany got him, it seemed like Tiffany got Lewis on lock. And not in a bad way. It just felt like he don't got no wiggle room to even cheat or even to do anything else. But, you know be a family man even though you know people are tricksters they can get out of stuff and contort themselves to get to what they need to get regardless of constraints and confinements but mm, i'm not getting that vibe from lewis but then again i don't know i stand to be corrected but let me know what y'all think about that but other than that i just feel like at this point the rumors about marcel and maurice i mean i understand too i'm also of the belief like where there's smoke there's fire but at the same time i don't it's more so they could have been doing that before the show but don't y'all feel like because now they're on tv they're gonna move better because they are public figures now and people do know their face and they can get caught up And I feel like they are not going to allow that to happen. So they're going to, you know, move differently in these streets. That's, I mean, at least I hope they would. (laughs) Well, honestly, um, I just feel like they're not going to allow themselves to get caught up in this kind of way. Especially seeing how everything unfolded with Martel. I don't know, like seeing his example on TV. I remember I did um, a video on that too, about how um, Carlos said that, like, maybe people seeing martel on tv 
certain men or whatever, they may change their ways. Be like, oh man, like I could have been moving bogus. I could have been doing wrong, but okay, let me get my act together because I, I don't I don't want to end it all. I'm just being selfish. I really do love my wife, but let me get it right. Or I really do love my girl. I, I recognize like it's nothing that she's doing wrong. It's just me being extra and me wanting to get my knees met. So let me get it right. So maybe, you know, Marcel, Maurice and Lewis see this everything that's happening with Martin it's like no I don't want that to be me sometimes you know we learn that way as well then they say um a smart person learns from their mistakes but a wise a wise person learns from the mistakes of others so you know if I was down I would be wise and you know fall back whatever I was doing no cap oh bars yes me let's go but no seriously that's how I feel. I'm, I'm, but then again, maybe we would get this all cleared up because don't y'all feel like that little Atlanta trip was like maybe years ago or was it recent? I, I don't know the way the picture look. It looked very mm, 2015 ish or something. It don't seem recent to me because the way that they was dressed, or maybe that's how they really dressed. Look at the see, they got a side to them. See, I guess I own, I'm only used to their polish, like you know, suits collar shirt kind of vibe amongst the men i ain't never see them all dressed down that's how come i felt like that atlanta picture had to be from years ago or something before the tv so that's why i'm like mm, you know i can't confirm or deny that there weren't cheating alligator rumors or whatever so be it but at this point now that they're all in the spotlight i don't think they doing nothing i really don't i just feel like they wouldn't allow themselves to get caught up in this kind of way now that they're in the spotlight but nevertheless like i said i could be i could stand to be correct y'all so y'all gotta let me know what y'all think i know i said a, a lot of different things so number one i want to know do you guys think that lewis was in or did i miss it martell <laughs> i'm reading this article and it's saying that martell even called out lewis about some infidelity stuff and cheating rumors i don't remember that on the show nor do i remember seeing anything on social media about that one. Ooh, mm dropping tea martell okay but what do y'all think about that situation and also do y'all think that marcel and maurice or any of the men on the cast now will really sit up there and cheat and jeopardize their relationship now that they have a spotlight on them now that their life is kind of like they're in a fish tank where kind of people know who they are like i don't i don't think they're doing that now i can't say what happened in the past you know but now that they on tv i don't, I don't really see it but then you never know that's how come i had to ask what did y'all think mm. but nevertheless mm, that's all i wanted to say and i will talk to you guys later if you have not liked this video please do and don't forget to share and also subscribe to my channel thanks again for listening and i will talk to you guys again soon bye